Welcome to our video. The purpose of this video is to help you improve your English skills while also learning about an important cultural topic. We aim to teach you both language skills and valuable knowledge about society. We hope you find this journey both educational and interesting. Ito wakes up at 6 in the evening. He wears the same clothes as yesterday. His room is very crowded. There are empty drink bottles and food wrappers everywhere. A big desk is on one side of the room. Ito wakes up and goes to his computer. He does not go to school or work. Instead, he plays video games all day. Sometimes, his mother brings him food. He thanks her but says nothing else. Ito's life is the same every day. He has not seen anyone else for three years. Ito is one of Japan's hikikomori. A hikikomori is a person in Japan who stays away from society. Most hikikomori are young men. They do not talk to other people. They depend on their parents to live. Today, there are many people like Ito. Some people say there are a million hikikomori in Japan. But why? Japan has a unique society. In Japan, parents and children often live together for many years. Sometimes, even grandparents live with them. Family members help each other. Younger people take care of older people. And parents take care of children. This is good for many families. They always have support. But this also helps people become hikikomori. Hikikomori know their parents will take care of them. So, they do not have to get a job or go to school. But people do not become hikikomori because they do not want to work. Usually, there is a reason. Maybe a hikikomori lost their job. Maybe they were bullied at school. They feel like they have failed. And it is difficult for them to try again. Mosoki Ikegomi is a journalist. He writes about the hikikomori. He says, In Japan, if you make a mistake, it is hard to succeed after that. Most hikikomori had trouble at work. They had problems with people. Or they had bad experiences at school. Some stopped working to take care of old family members. There are many reasons to become a hikikomori. Some hikikomori become isolated because of money problems. After World War II, Japan's economy grew very fast. College graduates found jobs easily. A person could get a job and keep it for their whole life. But in 1991, the economy crashed. Companies stopped hiring new people. They only kept older workers. It became hard to find a good job. Many people could only find low-paying jobs. Some people could not find any jobs. This time is called the lost decades. The lost decades caused problems for many people. In Japan, people feel that their job is very important. If a person does not have a job, they feel ashamed. If they do not succeed at work, they feel ashamed. Some people feel so bad that they stop trying. Naohaya Kimura was a hikikomori for 10 years. He says, If you finish university in Japan but do not get a job, people think you are strange. People think you should be working. I was embarrassed. I did not want anyone to see me. I hated seeing people in nice clothes. It made me feel very bad. I felt shame. Many hikikomori are also depressed. Depression is extreme sadness. A depressed person wants to do things. They want to work or meet people. But they feel they have no value. They think nothing will change. So they feel worse. And they become more depressed. This is a very difficult feeling to change. Vozatai Kaida is a hikikomori in his 50s. He became a hikikomori after coming back to Japan. He had lived in another country. He felt he did not fit in Japan. He became very depressed. He says. 
I closed all the curtains. But the light still came through. I could see the light from the back of the room. It felt like society was moving without me. I felt lonely and afraid. Curtains were not enough. So I blocked more light. I made my room like a cave. It did not matter if it was day or night. Having a hikikomori child is hard for parents. Many parents keep supporting their children. But they also feel ashamed. Most do not know how to help. Some parents do not talk about their child because they feel they have failed. Micah Elanis is a photojournalist. She takes pictures of hikikomori. She says. Parents know people will think about them differently if they talk about their child. They hope their child will be normal again. They wait for years before asking for help. Most parents think that having a hikikomori child means they are bad parents. It is very difficult for a hikikomori to go back to normal life. They do not know how to live alone. And they do not have skills to find a job. The Japanese government has some jobs for hikikomori. There are also programs to teach them skills, like cooking. But the most helpful programs help hikikomori find friends. A lonely person does not only need a doctor, they do not only need a job, they need someone to talk to, they need someone who understands them, they need to feel that they are not alone. Hikikomori often have trouble talking about their feelings. They may feel like no one understands them. But having a friend can make a big difference. Even talking to one person can help them feel better. Programs that encourage Hikikomori to connect with others are very important. These programs help them understand that they are not alone and that others care about them. Some Hikikomori join support groups. In these groups, they meet people who have similar problems. They can talk about their fears and worries. This can help them feel understood. It can help them build confidence. Many people in these groups make new friends. They support each other and help each other feel better. There are also job training programs for hikikomori. These programs teach basic skills, like cooking, cleaning, and managing money. They also help hikikomori learn job skills, like working in an office or a store. Learning these skills helps hikikomori feel more confident. It makes it easier for them to find a job and live on their own. Exercise can also help hikikomori. Physical activity can improve mood and reduce depression. Some programs encourage hikikomori to exercise with others. This helps them become healthier. It also gives them a chance to meet new people and make friends. Even small exercises, like walking, can make a big difference in their mental health. Hobbies can also help hikikomori. Learning a new skill or enjoying a hobby can make life more interesting. Some hikikomori start painting, writing, or playing music. These activities can help them express their feelings. They can also help them relax and feel happier. Pets can also be helpful for hikikomori. Taking care of a pet can give them a sense of responsibility. Pets can also provide comfort and companionship. A dog or cat can be a friend when they feel lonely. Taking care of a pet can help them feel needed. It can give them a reason to get up and start the day. Family support is very important for hikikomori. Parents and family members need to understand what their child is going through. They need to be patient and supportive. Some families attend counseling sessions. These sessions help parents learn how to support their child better. They also help parents deal with their own feelings of guilt and frustration. It is also important for society to understand hikikomori. People need to know that hikikomori are not lazy or bad. They are people who need help and support. Understanding and accepting them can help reduce the shame they feel.
this can make it easier for them to reach out for help. Hikikomori are not only found in Japan, there are people in other countries who isolate themselves too. In South Korea, they are called Honjok. In Italy, they are called Bamboxioni. These people also face similar problems. They feel alone and disconnected from society, but they can also be helped with the right support. In some countries, there are online support groups for people who isolate themselves. These groups allow people to connect without leaving their homes. They can share their stories and encourage each other. This can be a first step towards reconnecting with society. Online therapy is also an option for hikikomori. Some people find it easier to talk to a therapist through a computer. This way, they do not have to leave their home. They can still get the help they need. Online therapy can help them learn to manage their feelings and start to feel better. Some hikikomori slowly start to go out more. They might start by going to a local shop or taking a walk in their neighborhood. These small steps can help them get used to being around people again. Over time, they may feel more comfortable going out and meeting others. Schools in Japan are also trying to help. Some schools have special programs for students who are at risk of becoming hikikomori. These programs offer extra support and counseling. They help students deal with stress and build confidence. This can help prevent them from withdrawing from society. Bullying is a major reason why some young people become hikikomori. Schools are working to prevent bullying. They teach students about kindness and respect. They encourage students to support each other. Stopping bullying can help prevent young people from becoming hikikomori. Counseling can also help hikikomori. Talking to a counselor can help them understand their feelings. It can help them find ways to cope with their problems. Counseling can also help them set goals and take steps towards a better future. Hikikomori need to believe in themselves. They need to know that they are capable and valuable. Many programs focus on building self esteem. They encourage hikikomori to set small goals and celebrate their achievements. This helps them see that they can succeed. It is important for hikikomori to know that change is possible. They need to understand that their situation does not have to stay the same. With support, they can improve their lives. They can reconnect with others. They can find happiness again. Some hikikomori find it helpful to write about their experiences. Writing can be a way to express their feelings. It can also help them understand what they are going through. Some hikikomori share their stories online. This helps them connect with others who understand. Art can also be a powerful tool for hikikomori. Painting, drawing, or making crafts can help them express their emotions. Art can be a way to relax and feel peaceful. It can also be a way to communicate with others without using words. Music can also be very healing. Some hikikomori learn to play an instrument. Others listen to music that makes them feel good. Music can help them feel less alone. It can lift their spirits and help them feel more positive. Volunteering can help hikikomori reconnect with society. Helping others can make them feel useful. It can also help them meet new people. Volunteering can be a good way to start being active in the community again. Some hikikomori find hope through religion or spirituality. Believing in something greater than themselves can give them strength. It can help them feel more connected to the world. It can also give them a sense of purpose. Small achievements are important for hikikomori. Even small things, like getting out of bed or talking to someone, are achievements. Celebrating these small steps can help them build confidence. It shows them that they are making progress. 
Having a routine can also help hikikomori. A routine can give structure to their day. It can help them feel more in control. A simple routine, like waking up at the same time every day, can make a big difference. Meditation and relaxation exercises can help hikikomori manage stress. These practices can help them feel calm and focused. They can also help them deal with negative thoughts. Meditation can be a way to find peace in difficult times. It is important for hikikomori to know that they are not alone. There are many people who understand what they are going through. There are many people who want to help. Reaching out for help is the first step towards a better life. Some hikikomori find strength in nature. Spending time outside can be very healing. The fresh air and sunlight can improve their mood. Even a short walk in a park can help them feel better. Many people who were once hikikomori have gone on to live happy, successful lives. They have found friends, jobs, and hobbies that make them happy. Their stories show that recovery is possible. With support, hikikomori can change their lives for the better. If you know someone who is lonely or struggling, try to reach out to them. Sometimes, a small act of kindness can make a big difference. Show them that they are not alone. Together, we can help each other live happier lives. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed this content and learned something new, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us create more content to help you learn and grow. We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below.